All right, so I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to Miss White about her new hearing aid. Um, here it goes. So hello, Miss White. We are going to fit you. We've decided to fit you with a Phonak Rick hearing aid. Um, we are going to go for a rechargeable hearing aid. And it's, it, I think it's a lot simpler than having to replace the battery and having to replace small batteries inside. So what you're basically going to do is you're going to take the hearing aid. You're going to put it inside the case that it comes with, and you're going to charge the hearing aid in the case as if you would um, an iPhone. And then to go over the hearing aid itself and its physical properties, um, we'll start off with this. And a few of the few of the things um, will also go by. Well, a few of the things also need some cleaning and replacement and all that. But we'll go by one by one the physical properties first. So right over here, you've got your your um what's this called <laughs> your volume button right there and then you've got three holes right here and that those are your microphones those are your microphones picking up the sounds that you need now every now and then debris might get in or something but you know it's also it's a good it's good practice to clean them even if you can't see anything in them and cleaning it's very simple you just take the brush that comes with your kit and just brush them just like that just brush them every now and then yeah. and then also as we go down further on this hearing aid you've got a slim tube this is where the sound is traveling after it gets picked up from the microphone sound travels and goes into your ear this might also get earwax might get some debris you might want to, um, yeah, it might get some earwax and debris. So this might also, the slim tube might also need changing every now and then. And what you would do is you'd replace that. So very gently, you would hold the end of this and you'd take it apart. I'm not going to do it for this one because I don't think I can. But you would take it apart and then you would take a new slim tube and you'd put it back in and make sure it's like secure in, secured in. But when you do that, Make sure that you fit the end of your slim tube with a brand new dome. Now for you, we would use a power dome. Um, it's not so much like this one. This one has a lot of holes inside. But you would get the power domes. And the power domes look more like this. It's a little, I don't know if it's bigger, but uh, a little more closed. Because we really want to trap in those sounds. A little more closed, a little more, a little more closed, and a little more rounded. So yeah, we'll give you a little, we'll give you some domes. <laughs> but yeah, so when you get a new receiver, make sure that you also put back a new dome, okay? And this dome, if you take it off, I think it's also good practice to change your domes every now and then, also because those collect earwax. And behind that your receiver will have a wax trap that will also collect earwax. So it's good to clean and replace that too. And what you would do to clean and replace that too is, we'll pretend that this is an earwax trap replacer, okay? And we'll provide those. You're going to take the earwax trap, you're going to take the replacer. One side is going to have a bit more of a prongy end and the other side is going to have a brand new um, earwax trap in it. You're going to stick the prong into your used earwax trap and it should slide off when you pull apart then you're going to flip it over and replace your you replace it with a new one a new wax trap just like that and then when that's in you're going to go ahead and put your power dome inside or put your power dome back on there you are yeah. so that's how those are your physical properties of your hearing aid and how to clean each piece so you got your volume button, your microphones that need brushing every now and then, a slim tube where your sound goes into that might need replacing every now and then also, and you got your earwax trap behind the dome that you replace, and then you also got your power dome up at top. And then how you're going to wear this is you're going to make sure that the hearing aid portion sits, oops, sits on top and behind your ear. Okay, just like that. Gonna follow the natural curve of the slim tube and slip the dome into your canal. 
make sure it's in there good just like that 